hey guys welcome back or to me and my channel i'm starting another vlog today because that's what i do now today is mostly gonna be me doing school stuff because my last two spring classes started last week so there's like stuff due every single week yeah what else do i have to do i'm running errands with my dad he said we're gonna go after he mows the lawn and i don't know when he's gonna be done that so i'm gonna do like my school stuff before that and then later i'm gonna like spring clean no summer clean my room get rid of clothes because like i always i'm trying to be more mindful of the amount of clothes i have so when i buy new stuff i always get rid of old stuff that i literally either haven't worn in a while or haven't worn ever right now i have to do my prep for my last year of university i have an advising appointment today i don't think i actually have the appointment but she's just sending me like my file to make sure i'm taking all of the right stuff also i got my macbook like last week some at the end of last week or something and i didn't want to make it its own video i just like didn't want to do that so i'm gonna insert the unboxing little clip right now Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't do the setup in like the unboxing video because it took way longer than I thought it would but this is what my laptop actually looks like I found the background on Pinterest this little to-do list thing comes from an app called memo these two thingies like the little July calendar and the time I think it's called widgetter and then these widgets are like an app called dot dash I made a TikTok a little bit more in depth, like talking about it, so you can go watch that. So I also have like these little folders here. I don't usually keep folders, but after my hard drive crashed, I'm determined to keep some important stuff on the actual desktop. And I just found like the PNG thingies on Google. I just looked up like aesthetic folder covers PNG. Yeah, I think it's so cute. Sage green and brown are like my color palettes of the moment, so I'm obsessed with them. 
I would have normally done like my vision board as my background, but I thought it looked way too cluttered. I wanted it to be a bit more minimal, so I can also get rid of that because it doesn't stay on the computer. But yeah, that is all for my MacBook. If you cared about the customization part, some people don't, some people do. Um, I obviously can't show you like my file because I don't think anyone's supposed to be able to see it but me. But basically what I went through with my advisor was um, what I needed to take in fall and winter in order to graduate on time in May. If you didn't know, I'm a communications major, but when I started university, I was a business student and I was going to major in marketing. So I switched halfway through second year. So it's kind of like a miracle I'm graduating on time, but that's also because I took six classes this spring because I cannot stay here any longer than I have to. Like I needed to graduate in May because I want to be out of here in like July or August. From what she told me, in the fall I'm taking three communications classes and then the winter I'm only taking two, which means I have 15 more credits until I can graduate, which is amazing because then my fall and winter semesters are gonna be so easy. Normally you take five classes each. So imagine how much easier it's gonna be when I'm taking three classes and then two classes. That you, I'm like stuttering because I'm so excited. The year's gonna go by so quickly. I'm so pumped because before you know it, I will be moved to Toronto like I am supposed to be. But I'm gonna copy the rest of my notes for my religion class. It's called Western World Religions and the first chapter is Judaism. And I'm pretty sure I have three like lectures left to copy. So I don't think it's gonna take me more than half an hour. dad and my sister and I are leaving soon we're going to well I don't really know exactly what we're doing just running errands but the main thing is we're going to get a new washing machine because I technically broke it like our machine was already like messed up but I was the final straw like I broke the lid lock so yeah we need to get a whole new one something bad always happens every single time I wash my bed sheets every single time I just washed them they're also like splotchy, so what did I gain from breaking our washing machine? I would show you my outfit, but it's nothing special. I've literally worn it already before, but this is my bag that I made plugging myself. I actually made a new one and I gave the other one that I made to Clover. And with the rest of the fabric, I made a tiny like little baguette, I think this was called, version. This is our ghetto one. totally forgot that I was supposed to be cleaning out my closet but thank god it's not gonna be a lot of stuff so I can just do that now before I this is the stage of my closet right now that's the bag that has some of the stuff I don't see myself getting rid of a lot of things but like I said I don't like having stuff that I just know I'm not gonna wear okay this you can flame me for this because I honestly deserve it 
I'm just getting rid of most of my Shein stuff because I just don't like it. The baby tees and the skirts pants I got are good and I actually wear them. But some of the stuff was just like you buy them because you're bored and you want to try it out. And I don't like this. So I'm not going to wear it. But I thrifted. But I don't like it that much. Like I need to get better at not wasting money because I always do shit like that. I need to stop buying stuff and I say that as I have a bunch of packages coming The assignment that I have to do right now is for my political communications class. So there's only 14 pages which isn't bad at all and then I have to like fill out this little thingy. I don't think it's gonna take super long. So my goal is to finish this by nine o'clock because I want to go to bed kind of early because I still have to edit this video that you're watching right now tomorrow morning because I filmed this on Tuesday and then I'm gonna post it on Wednesday. I don't know if I mentioned this before, like when it actually came in. I might have, but I'm just going to say it again in case. But my second book that I ordered came in. It's called People We Meet on Vacation. And I wanted this to be my summer read. I haven't started it yet though because Get a Life Chloe Brown kind of put me in a reading slump. Which is funny because it was the first book I started to get back into reading. And then it kind of made me like not want to read another book i don't know how to describe it i gave it a three out of five on goodreads i'm pretty sure like it wasn't bad i understand why people like it a lot but the like the ending conflict really frustrated me because it was just random yeah i'm gonna read this for the night and probably watch one tree hill for a bit then go to sleep so that is the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye